Now we can go through some word problems. First one, one kilogram of apples cost rupees eighty. Find the cost of five one by two or five and half kilogram of apples. What is given? Cost of one kilogram of apples is given. That is rupees eighty. Then we have to find cost of five one by two or five and half kilogram of apples. How can we find it? To find cost of five one by two or five and half kilogram of apples, we have to multiply cost of one kilogram into five one by two. That means eighty into five one by two. Eighty into five one by two. You know that five one by two is a mixed fraction, so we can convert to an improper fraction. Five two is ten. Ten plus one eleven. By two, eleven by two is the corresponding improper fraction. So eighty into eleven by two. What is eighty into eleven by two? Eighty into eleven all divided by two. Two. Eighty into eleven. What is eighty into eleven? It is eight hundred and eighty. Eight hundred and eighty by two. Eight hundred and eighty by two is. Four hundred and forty. So the answer is four hundred and forty. Cost of five one by two or five and half kilogram apples rupees four hundred and forty. Next question: A meter of cloth costs rupees thirty six. Find the cost of three one by two meter of cloth. Cost of One meter of cloth is given. Cost of one meter of cloth, rupees thirty six. Then we have to find cost of three one by two. Three one by two meter of cloth. How can we find it? Multiply cost of one meter of cloth with the three one by two. That means thirty six into three one by two. Three one by two a mixed fraction convert to improper fraction. Three two are six. Six plus one seven by two. Thirty six into seven by two. Then thirty six into seven all divided by two. Then here we know that thirty six is divisible by two. Two is also divisible by two. So we can cancel thirty six. Then thirty six by two is eighteen. Then two by two is one. Two by two is one. So what is remaining? Eighteen into seven. Eighteen into seven. Eight seven is fifty-six. Five. Then one seven is seven. Seven plus five is twelve. So one hundred and twenty-six is the answer. Rupees one hundred and twenty-six. Next topic: Multiplicative inverse of a fractional. Number multiplicative inverse of a fractional number. When two fractional numbers or a fractional number and a whole number is multiplied, if the product is one, each number is called multiplicative inverse of the other. What is it? When two fractional numbers or One fractional number and one whole number is multiplied, and if the product, the answer is one, then each number is known as multiplicative inverse of the other. Multiplicative inverse is also called reciprocal. Multiplicative inverse is also known as reciprocal. We can go through some examples. Consider the number one by three. One by three into which number is one? One by three into Three is one. If you if we multiply one by three with the three, we get one by three into three. One into three. One into three by three. One three is our three. Write the denominator three itself. Three by three is one. Three by three is one. So multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of one by three is three. Reciprocal or multiplicative inverse of one by three is three. Why one by three into three is one? Then that is the condition. Then multiplicative inverse of one by three is three. 
then what is the multiplicative inverse of 3 multiplicative inverse of 3 is 1 by 3 3 into 1 by 3 is also 1 so multiplicative inverse of 3 is 1 by 3 consider another example 6 by 7 6 by 7 into 7 by 6 is 1 6 by 7 into 7 by 6 7 6 7 are 42 7 6 are 42 42 by 42 1 so multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of 6 by 7 will be 7 by 6 then what is the multiplicative inverse of 7 by 6 that is 6 by 7 is it clear multiplicative inverse of 6 by 7 is 7 by 6 multiplicative inverse of 7 by 6 is 6 by 7 consider another number 7 by 8 7 by 8 what is the reciprocal of 7 by 8 reciprocal of 7 by 8 that means we have to change the numerator as denominator denominator as numerator reciprocal or multiplicative inverse of 7 by 8 will be 8 by 7 8 by 7 next topic division division of fractional numbers to divide a fractional number by a whole number we multiply the fractional number by the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of the whole number what is the condition to divide a fractional number by a whole number we multiply the fractional number with the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of the whole number consider an example divide 9 by 11 by 5 9 by 11 by 5 that is the question to divide a fractional number by a whole number we have to take the multiplicative inverse of the whole number and then find the product that means for write the first number it's at 9 by 11 then into multiplicative inverse of the whole number what is the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of 5 we know that 5 simply 5 means it is 5 by 1 5 by 1 is 5 then to get the reciprocal we have to change numerator as denominator denominator as numerator so reciprocal of 5 will be 1 by 5 isn't it reciprocal of 5 by 1 is 1 by 5 5, 5 by 1 means 5 so reciprocal is 1 by 5 9 by 11 into 1 by 5 to divide these two numbers 9 by 11 by 5 we have to multiply with the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of the second number 9 by 11 into 1 by 5 9 into 1 9 into 1 is 9 by 11 into 5 is 55 9 by 55 is the answer then second question 2 by 3 divided by 6 2 by 3 divided by 6 to divide we have to take the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of the whole number so first write the fraction itself 2 by 3 into reciprocal of 6 what is the reciprocal of 6 reciprocal of 6 is 1 by 6 then 2 by 3 into 1 by 6 2 into 1 2 into 1 is 2 by 3 into 6 3 6 are 18 2 by 18 we can convert this fraction to its lowest to 10 2 is divisible by 2 18 also divisible by 2 2 by 2 is 1 18 by 2 is 9 so 1 by 9 is the answer then what is the condition 2 divide a fractional number by a whole number we multiply the fractional number by the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of the whole number third example 3 3 by 4 divided by 3 this is a mixed fraction mixed fraction for us we, first we have to convert to an improper fraction 3 3 by 4 means 3 4 are 12 12, 12 plus 3 is 15 15 by 4 3 3 by 4 means 15 by 4 divided by 3 then to divide we have to 
multiply the multiplicative inverse. 15 by 4 into multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of 3. Reciprocal of 3 is 1 by 3. 15 by 4 into 1 by 3. Then 15 into 1 is 15. 4 3 is 12. 15 by 12. Then we can convert this fraction to its lowest term. 15 is divisible by 3. 12 is also divisible by 3. 15 by 3 is 5. 12 by 3 is 4. So 5 by 4. 5 by 4. Numerator is greater than denominator. So it is an improper fraction. So we can convert to a mixed fraction. 5 by 4. 1 fourths are 4. Then subtracting 5 minus 4 is 1. Then what is the answer? Write the quotient 1. Write the remainder 1 by divisor. 1, 1 by 4 is the corresponding mixed fraction. Second case, to divide a whole number by a fractional number, we multiply the whole number by the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of the fractional number. That means to divide a whole number by a fractional number, in this case we have to multiply the whole number by the multiplicative inverse of the fractional number. That means consider an example. Divide 7 by 1 by 5. 7 divided by 1 by 5. That is the question. One whole number, one fractional number. Then in this case we have to first write the whole number itself. Then take the reciprocal of the fractional number and multiply it. Then what is the reciprocal of 1 by 5? Reciprocal of 1 by 5 is 5 by 1. 7 into 5 by 1. 7 by 1 by 5 is equal to 7 into 5 by 1. Then 7 in that means 7 into 5 all divided by 1. 7 5s are 35. 35 by 1. 35 by 1 is 35. So the answer is 35. Next one, second example, 15 divided by 3 by 4. One whole number, one fractional number. Then what is the step? 15 into, take the reciprocal of the second number. Reciprocal of 3 by 4 is 4 by 3. Then multiply it. 15 into 4 by 3. 15 into 4 by 3. That is equal to 15 into 4 by 3. Then we know that 15 is divisible by 3. 3 is also divisible by 3. So what is 15 by 3? 15 by 3 is 5. Then 3 by 3 is 1. So what is remaining? 5 into 4 by 1. 5 fours are 20. 20 by 1 is 20 itself. So the answer is 20. Next question. 50. 5 0 50 divided by 2 1 by 2. One mixed fraction. Mixed fraction. First we have to convert this mixed fraction to an improper fraction. 2 1 by 2. 2 1 by 2 means 2 2 are 4. 4 plus 1. 5 by 2. 5 by 2. Then 50 divided by 5. 50 divided by 5 by 2. That is the question. Then to divide we have to take the reciprocal of the second number, second fraction. Then what is the reciprocal of 5 by 2? Reciprocal of 5 by 2 is 2 by 5. 2 by 5. Then multiply with the 50. 50 into 2 by 5. 50 into 2 by 5. Then 50 into 2 all divided by 5. What is the answer? 50 into 2 is 100. 100 by 5. 100 by 5 is 20. 20 is the answer. Next case, third is to divide a fractional number by a fractional number, we multiply the fractional number by the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of the other fractional number. Division of two fractional numbers. Consider an example. Divide 3 by 4 by 1 by 4. 3 by 4 by 1 by 4. 3 by 4 divided by 1 by 4. What is the condition? Keep the first number itself. 3 by 4. 
then into reciprocal of the second fraction number. What is the reciprocal of 1 by 4? Reciprocal of 1 by 4 is 4 by 1. 4 by 1. Then this is equal to 3 into 4 by 4 into 1. Then 3 fourths are 12. 12 by 4. 12 by 4. What is 12 by 4? 12 by 4 is 3. 3 fourths are 12. So 12 by 4 is 3. 3 is the answer. Next question. 5 by 6 divided by 4 by 5. 5 by 6 divided by 4 by 5. What is the answer? 5 by 6. Keep the first fractional number itself. Then multiply it with reciprocal of the second fractional number. What is the reciprocal of 4 by 5? Reciprocal of 4 by 5 is 5 by 4. 5 by 4. Then 5 fives are 25 divided by 6 fours are 24. You can directly multiply. 5 fives are 25, 6 fours are 24. So 25 by 24. Then this is an improper fraction. Numerator is greater than denominator. So we can convert to a mixed fraction. 25 divided by 24. 1, 24 is 24. Subtracting 5 minus 4 is 1, 2 minus 2, 0. 1 is the remainder, 1 is less than 24. So we can write 25 by 24 as 1, 1 by 24. 1, 1 by 24. Next one, 7, 2 by 5 divided by 2, 3 by 10. Two mixed fractions. So, first we have to convert them to improper fractions. 7, 2 by 5. 7, 5s are 35. 35 plus 2, 37. Same as 37 by 5 divided by then 2, 3 by 10. 2 tens are 20, 20 plus 3, 23 by 10. 37 by 5 divided by 23 by 10. Then to divide two fractions, we have to, first we have to write the first fraction itself. Then multiply it with multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of the second fraction. 10 by 23 is the reciprocal of 23 by 10. Then we know that 37 into 10 all divided by 5 into 23. Then we know that 5 is divisible by 5. 10 is also divisible by 5. 5 by 5 is 5 by 5 is 1. 10 by 5 is 2. So what is remaining? 37 into 2 divided by 1 into 23. That is 37 into 2. 37 into 2. 7 2s are 14. And here 3 2s are 6. 6 plus 1, 7. 74. 74 divided by 23. This is an improper fraction. So we can convert to a mixed fraction. 74 divided by 23. 3, 23 is 69. Subtracting, we will get remainder as 5. So, we can write this improper fraction as 3, 5 by 23. 3, 5 by 23 is the answer. Next one, note. First one, multiplicative inverse of 1 is 1. Multiplicative inverse of 1 is 1 because 1 into 1 is 1. The second point, the product of 0 and any number is 0. Hence, the multiplicative inverse of 0 does not exist. The product of 0 and any other number is 0. So, 0 has no multiplicative inverse. Next point, division of fractional numbers is not commutative and not associative. Next point, when a fraction is divided by 1, the quotient is the fraction itself. 
when a fraction is divided by 1 the quotient the answer is a fraction is the fraction itself for example 5 by 6 divided by 1 5 by 6 divided by 1 this means 5 by 6 into reciprocal of the second number reciprocal of 1 is 1 itself so 5 by 6 into 1 5 into 1 is 5 by 6 itself 5 by 6 so when a fraction is divided by 1 quotient is the fraction itself next one when 0 is divided by a non-zero fractional number we always get quotient as 0 for example 0 divided by 4 by 7 0 divided by 4 by 7 that means 0 into reciprocal of second one for so reciprocal of 4 by 7 is 7 by 4 0 into 7 by 4 that is equal to 0 next point when a non-zero fractional number is divided by itself then the quotient is 1 when a non-zero fractional number is divided by itself the quotient is 1 for example 3 by 11 divided by 3 by 11 that means 3 by 11 into reciprocal of second fraction that is 11 by 3 reciprocal of 3 by 11 is 11 by 3 3 3 by 11 into 11 by 3 3 into 11 that is 33 11 into 3 that is 33 33 by 33 is 1 so this chapter is over hope you understood see you in next class